right in front of this house is where Yuma police shot a 30 year old man on Friday. There's still many questions left unanswered and body cam footage has not been released by police, but we spoke to an eyewitness who saw it all go down right here in front of her home. You can see all the blood right here. All they did was cover it with rocks and dirt. Kind of see a trail. Marie Hernandez was outside with her dogs Friday morning when she saw one of her neighbors being followed by four officers. She says the man whose identity has not been released was carrying a knife on a holster belt, but she says it wasn't out of the norm. She usually sees him with a knife. Show us your knife. And so he went to put his hand on the knife like on the handle and they tased him. As soon as his hands touched the knife, they tased him. He went down like a tree. Um, when he was down on the ground is when they shot him repeatedly. In a pre-recorded video on Facebook, Yuma Police Chief Thomas Garrity said officers responded to calls about a man acting disorderly and threatened to kill people and their dog. When officers arrived, the chief said the threats continued. The subject threatened the officers with the weapon, at which time Officers fired their service weapons. Garrity says body cam footage worn by officers is part of the investigation and that video has not been released. YPD says the case was handed over to the Yuma Regional Critical Incident Response Team, which he described as an independent team of trained law enforcement investigators from multiple agencies. But it isn't clear who makes up that team. We also reached out to Yuma Police and the Sheriff's Office about the case but have not heard back. At last check, the suspect is still recovering in the hospital. In Yuma, Alexandra Rangel, Arizona's family.